New tonight, four days into the special legislative session in Nashville, and Republican lawmakers are divided on what comes next. Governor Bill Lee called that session after the Covenant School shooting in Nashville this past spring. Six people died, including three nine-year-old students. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot explains the emotional fight for change at the state capitol. The week began with proposals on public safety. It ends with Senate Republicans and House Republicans at odds over how to proceed. The first extraordinary session shall come to order. An order from the governor brought lawmakers back to Nashville. You can't see it, but these kids are really struggling. Stories from parents of kids at the Covenant School told them why it mattered. Some of our friends will never, ever see their children again. Ever. Those parents fought a bill to allow people with enhanced carry permits to carry in schools. Their hands were shaking so bad that day in the things they had to do to keep those children quiet and safe and hidden and secure. They couldn't have handled a firearm. That bill failed in committee as the House continued working on some 27 bills. Tuesday, we learned the Senate only wanted to pass three. The remaining bills on today's calendar are laid on the table. Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally says the Senate did what the governor asked. We did what we thought was uh, his intent. House Speaker Cameron Sexton and the Covenant parents say it's not enough. The Senate's going to have to explain why they don't want to do anything. A week of tension. Uh, troopers, let's go ahead and clear the room. And protests. Two more. Ends with the General Assembly divided and a plea from the Covenant parents to come back Monday with solutions. To see the House and Senate at an impasse is frustrating and upsetting. The Tennessee House will reconvene at 2 o'clock on Monday. The Senate plans to come back at 4 o'clock Monday here on Capitol Hill. Back to you. Online right now, you can find our coverage of the special session. That's at WBIR.com and the 10 News app. And we will continue our live reporting from Nashville coming up on Monday.